pick a time Any day is fine Pack a bag, say you do Let's sail off me and you on another It's time for Tritium to get a water maker. This magical device filters the salt out of the seawater using a reverse osmosis membrane. We've decided to go with a Clark pump system on Tritium's water maker install. And if you're not familiar with the basics to the Clark pump system, maybe familiarize yourself first because James gets pretty in depth here. Talk about some Clark pumps. What we have here is a Spectra 10% Clark pump. You know what the 10% is right where the inlet. There is a dash 10. Water maker day. Pulling apart the good old Spectra 10% Clark pump. We got pretty Pretty good rust build up um, due to these fittings. Um, I'm gonna put this down somewhere safe. Um, let you see, we got nickel bronze fittings, which are very corroded, breaking off little chunkies. Putting them, cleaning them up in the pot, in the bu bucket here, you know. Um, but you don't want to get those chunkies inside your Clark pump and run it, because all that's going to score all this finely machined cylinders and valves, pistons, all sorts of stuff. So we're probably going to replace them with a uh, 316 stainless steel fittings. A Spectre says not to do that due to crevice corrosion, but the nickel bronze fittings have been having problems with them uh, putting little flakies in your pistons and scoring your piston cylinders and kind of messing up the whole unit. So I think a little crevice corrosion and replacing a center block is a lot better than uh, redoing the whole thing. After cleaning everything and giving it a close examination, I put all the inserts back in with new O-rings. The annular rings located here were replaced. They were cracked. And this is an item that gets replaced often with maintenance on these Spectra Clark pumps. Here's uh, some part numbers for the stainless steel fittings. I went with Swage Lock, seemed a good price. And while I'm showing you some parts, here is ah, the holy grail of Spectra water makers. And Spectra wants $200 for a bag of these O-rings, and I got 100 of each of them for about the same price. Uh, if you guys need dash numbers, just uh, let me know, and I can send them over to you as well. Everything was working. I did make acceptable drinking quality water. However, I did notice a few issues, the first being asymmetry of the Clark pump. Now, when you look here at the pressure gauge, you'll see the pump cycling, and it'll rest between 75 and 85 PSI, and that indicates there's probably a leak somewhere inside the Clark pump. I'm suspicious of the check valves. Let's pull out the calculator and got about 12% deviation, which is higher than the 5% recommended by Spectra. They also recommend the burst pressure is the same. Next thing I found was a leak on the end cap. This O-ring was extremely difficult to replace. Required taking off this aluminum ring, which is threaded onto the fiberglass cylinder. I ended up mangling up that aluminum ring pretty good, stacking two wrenches on top of each other. And in the process, I removed some of the threads from that fiberglass cylinder. These Spectre units have treated us really well in the past, but this one's just a little too beyond repair. And needing a reliable solution, we were recommended to Electromax. They have re-engineered basically the same unit to try to make it more cost-effective and less maintenance. Electromax design this one they call it a solar max and what's different is we got these blocks here on the end um, as you see I had a problems getting this part off to replace the o-ring in here so they kind of redesigned it in a more 
supposedly easier way. I haven't taken this unit apart to really see if it's easier. The annular rings in this are made out of titanium, so they do not need to be replaced as often. The pump's slightly larger. I'll place them next to each other. And they uh, claim that it runs a little bit smoother with the extra length and the strokes. So we're gonna see. As far as replacing your Spectra Clark pump with one of these, uh, they have these swivel fittings here. And then I put this swage lock uh, half inch tube to 3 8 NPT thread. Uh, pretty easy to find uh, tube fitting. Um, and these uh, swivel fittings are kind of nice because uh, that hose that Spectre gives uh, is pretty rigid and it's uh, just going to help. i never taken these apart or serviced these, so I'm skeptical at how they'll last and uh, to re-service uh, them if they start leaking. Everything looks very similar. You got the same location for your feed-in water pump. Your brine comes out either side you want. The uh, instead of using a J tube, they're using this titanium rod here. Uh, so we're gonna uh, hook it up, see how she runs. Another mo note for swapping these out I already have all the uh, stud and fittings hardware for mounting these Spectra brackets. Took them off, drilled new holes, put these in, however. They got all rusty and I only, this thing's only been on the boat for about a few weeks now. I guess clearly not stainless steel. 316 what it should be because this is something that's at the bottom of the water maker. At some point it's going to leak. It's going to get salt water on it. So I definitely want to replace these. Down in the hole. I'll show you guys the whole setup. This is a speed controller. PWM stands for Pulse Width Modulation, I believe. Uh, one third power Leeson 48 volt motor. And then we paired that with a Procon pump. Uh, pump, I believe, is 140 gallons per minute. And then I replaced the spring for the relief valve here for a uh, Spring B, which is rated between 100 and 150 PSI, and what that does is has a little bypass valve in here, so if this pressure on the high side gets above 100 and 30, let's say, it'll open it up and blow off, uh, just to protect all the plumbing connections further down from blowing and also protecting the Clark pump too, because we don't want to generate too much pressure. And this is our C strainer on the input. Uh, 100 mesh, what Procon recommends. And then after the pump, pressure gauge so we can monitor our pressures. We got our pre filter, which is a 5 micron filter, protects the Clark pump of any sediment. Don't want to score our cylinders. Next, we have our accumulator tank. And uh, Pumped it up to 60 PSI. It is uh, just to absorb any kind of pulses in pressure that the Clark pump will make when cycling. And then down here we got our high pressure fittings. Was a pretty simple swap out. All the hoses fit real nicely. Um, so I got my this is the inlet or output high pressure. This is the input. Still got like a little wiggle to them, but uh, I contacted Electromax. They said that's normal for these swivel fittings. And the brine, all that stuff's very much the same. So I'm going to turn the pressure valve and we'll uh, start building pressure. And tone up the uh, speed on the motor controller. Another side note, this is just a cooling fan that's tied in, so when there's power to the pump, the, uh, the casing of this motor is T 
TN or TCNV, which stands for totally enclosed, non ventilated. Uh, the ventilated models have a little fan on the shaft here that help blow air over it. Uh, I got this one on a discount, so I just put my own fan to keep her cool. So I'm gonna ramp up my pressure a little bit, speed up the motor. I'll do in some inspections for leaks, and it looks like our swivel fittings are pretty dry. Everything else is good. And our brine's coming out of the boat here. So let's see what kind of product we're making. on the EC scale, which stands for electrical conductivity. Uh, to find the PPMs, you'd multiply that number by 500, which would give you the sodium chloride scale. There's also a 700 PPM scale, but that is used more in uh, hydroponics for potassium chloride. Um, water in the grass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good old yard work, you know, a little homesteading here. Water maker's recovery rate is 15 gallons an hour with an amp draw of four out of our 48 volt bank. Having this fresh water supply has opened some opportunities to a hydroponic gardening project. Let's talk about the birds. And the bees. Just kidding. Wanted to conclude this water maker video and show you the progress of the garden. It's really taken off. Having that water maker is a pretty magical piece of machinery. We run it just about every three days. And it's quite magical filtering out that seawater into something that's a... Uh, so life-giving. Wanted to say that I'm very happy with my decision to go with the Electromax Clark pump. All the issues we were having with the Spectra, there was a solution engineered and hopefully it's designed to have less maintenance so that means less money and parts I'm gonna have to spend and time doing those maintenance repairs learned a lot doing this video and I wanted to share this information with you whether you're upgrading your Spectra Clark pump to those stainless steel fittings or swapping out your whole system for the new and improved Clark pump Electromax also sells uh, complete units I pieced together my own because they did not sell a 48 volt water maker uh, they shipped it out very fast too. It was in the middle of the holiday season and we were on the wire to get south of the border. We needed to get water supply on the boat so they really helped out and I'm very happy with that company. So let's drop a comment down there. Let me know what you think of the video. If you got something good to say, say it. If you got something bad to say, say it. I'm a grown man and I could take it. Jump on in, grab a line. The water's feeling fine, catch a fish, maybe two, let's sail off me and you on another adventure, on another adventure, let's sail off me and you.